What's going on, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Sailboat, with Sailboat Sneakers, back here again with a beater box unboxing. Got my nice little friend, Mr. Marijuana here. We're hanging out, we're having a great time today. There will be no dab reviews today. Tear, tear. I know, it's, un it's unfortunate, but as you can see right behind me, I have this wonderful fucking half bite. And this thing is beautiful. This is an exciting video, a little bit different than what I normally do. So I'd like to welcome everybody to beautiful North San Diego region. We're in Vista, California at the B Team Vert and Mini Ramp. I got the opportunity to attempt to skate this ramp. Watch me try to drop in and then watch this wonderful scrape of the coping. But in all honesty, I got to skate this ramp with some absolutely incredible skaters. I'm uh, very much at the top tier of skating level as a matter of fact. These are some of the guys that you will see competing in the X Games that will be skating in the Vert as well as the Mega Ramp events. Being that I am in the San Diego area, I have the opportunity to skate with them on a semi-regular basis when they're doing their training. And I actually got the invitation to this uh, B Team Ramp that has been freshly resurfaced with some Gator Skin, which happens to be one of the top of the line skate materials and it uh, just got done about a month ago so i got invited by leo ruiz who is a skateboarder out of the san diego area who actually just got back from shanghai recently skating in the x games in the mega ramp and uh, vert competitions over there and uh, unfortunately did not have the opportunity to compete as well as he wanted to because of a stomach bug he ended up getting some food poisoning when he first got over there but uh, still gave it his damnedest while he was there one of the reasons why I love Leo is because, number one, he's a phenomenal skater, but number two, he is also a huge sneakerhead. So check out this clip just to see but exactly Yeah, I don't get it, bro. How does. can you live with yourself knowing that you're wearing Nike SBs to actually skate in? That's crazy, bro. It's crazy, dude. It works good. Can you believe in it? <laughs> Got those panda pigeons! So as you can see, Leo is definitely into the sneaker culture but he is one of the rock and do not stock type of guys. I also got the opportunity to skate with Mitchie Brusco while I was here, who is right now planning on some incredible, incredible stuff. And I really, really suggest that you keep an eye on him to see exactly what he will be doing in the future, because I'm pretty sure that there are a couple of world records that this guy might be after. So keep your eye out on him. Definitely, if you are an action sports fan, he is one to take a look for. Also, does a ton of skydiving stuff and uh, just generally nice guy overall. So, I had the opportunity to hang out with these dudes for an entire afternoon of skateboarding. And they definitely gave me a few pointers, although obviously I'm nowhere near the caliber of a skater that they, any of them are, realistically. But it was still an incredible afternoon nonetheless. At any rate, we should probably be getting back into what you guys more than likely came here to see, which is the beater box unboxing. So let us get back to that, and by getting back to that, we'll go backwards. And I was just skating this with a whole bunch of dudes that got back from the X Games in Shanghai, and actually you might see some of them popping into the video at some point in time, and it's going to be pretty sweet. Now this box right here, $464 shipped to me. It was a $400 box prior to shipping and taxes. Let's figure out what's inside. So right here, I got my friend Leo Ruiz. He is one of the guys that skates the Mega Ramp. He just got back from Shanghai recently. How was that, man? It was sick, man. Crazy yeah. city. A lot of people in choose sneakers over there. It was fun. Different, dude, but fun. Loved it. You had told me before you left that you were gonna go check out the fake Supreme store. So tell, tell me, how did that go? Yeah, I was there, trying to check it out. Like everybody talked about the store, they have a um, sick mini ramp over there. So I was trying to go there and skate. But the day that I was trying to go there, the exact day, the copyrights for the Supreme Italia, they got revoked in China. So the store was closed, they took it down, you know? Couldn't go there, check it out. I saw some fake shoes. Pretty lame though, couldn't <laughs> notice like a mile away, didn't even bring any back to compare, but that's it. So, Good trip. Pretty cool stuff, I'll be linking in some of his uh, footage and videos and YouTube and all that type of stuff at the bottom, so make sure that you check out the description and uh, you'll be able to check out some of the stuff that he's done on a skateboard, which is pretty fucking amazing if you ask me. 
I uh, see right off the bat a couple pairs of Lucy's and we'll get into those ones first. Oh. First pair here, got some Jordan 1's. This is the Royal colorway and these are in a 7 youth. So not a terribly great size. Youth sneakers never, uh, never sell quite as quickly but at least it's a Jordan 1 so it should flip a little bit faster than clean, other Jordans. Yeah it is, it's super clean. Hmm. What would you say, like probably 9 out of 10 condition, 8 out of 10 because of the creasing? Definitely. Yeah, there's, there's very minimal wear. You can see a little bit on the soles there, a little bit of creasing on the toe box, but overall, pretty solid condition. So it's a good first first pair, I suppose. Not my favorite, but... I'll rock one of these. Right? If only we were a 7, seven youth. I'd give them to oh, you. Yeah. So next up here, another pair of 7 youths. We got some Jordan 1's, this is like a gold black colorway. These look more like mids to me. It's always a little bit tougher to tell with the kid sizes. Again, very, very minimally worn. These things are probably like... I would wear those with like a nice suit, you know? Oh yeah, yeah you get know, dressed like, up. Yeah. Go to a nice little award ceremony or something, sure. stand up Especially on the podium I, with these. I'm getting the award, got the gold <laughs> here, you know, like matches with the... You know, trophy. Matches with the metal. I'll rock these for sure. These are some mellows right there I just saw on the tongue, so. Oh yeah. Mellow, dope ball player. Give him credit where credit's due. Mellow's gangster. He's wicked gangster, <laughs> absolutely. I like that. So now the rest of the pairs in this box, there's seven more pairs, all of them have seven. boxes. So overall there's nine pairs of sneakers in this $464 box. So do the math on that, 50 bucks a pair just about. And so, some Adidas young ones. Size 10. And these are like a Independence color, colorway or something, Independence Day. <clears throat> these are a little bit more worn. You can see on the back of the sneakers, there's a little bit of staining, probably from jeans, my guess. And there's a little bit of staining on the toe cap and everything. Minimal creasing, a little bit of wear on the bottom of the shoes. Not too bad overall. Probably won't sell for too much. This is probably one of the more throwaway pairs in the box. A lot of, a lot of sock line, lint in there. So it's kind of a hard to rock them, you know, like that. They're, they're kind of bright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But young ones, they actually, what's weird about these is these will sell a little bit quicker than I would expect them to. I had a pair of uh, orange ones that sold in 24 hours after I got them in a box. I only sold them for like 75 bucks, but they sold within 24 hours, just like a quick flip. Oh, this is our my, these are my size. Oh, Jordan One mids, <laughs> Leo size. We got ten and a half right here. And these are, these are pretty loud. <laughs> there's a lot going on with these right here. I definitely do not know the specific colorway. It's like it is like a royal, but it has all these splatters and is obviously the mid, not the high. So mids definitely do not go for nearly as much, and that goes for both marijuana and and uh, Jordan ones. So don't smoke mids, and I guess wear highs if you prefer Jordan ones. So. Dope shoe, really, really great condition. Easily nine out of 10 condition, couple pebbles in the bottom, but overall look really, really good. <laughs> These also come extra laces right you know, there too. I mean, oh. on a Knicks game, I'll, I'll <laughs> definitely go with this one, right? So the paint splatter. Yeah, that, that's a sick, I mean, I would use as a player in the Knicks, like playing yeah. it for sure. It's, it's These are, you gotta have the style to wear them. A little bit deeper here. We got another pair of Jordans, size 10. Uh, I'm gonna assume that these are Jordan 4 by the box, but the label's a little bit damaged. And I'm wrong, they're actually Jordan 3. I probably should not have been such an amateur and looked a little bit more closely at the print. Got some Fire Reds in a size 10. These are very well worn. Probably like five or six out of 10 condition. There's definitely some paint wear going on on the inside of those. A lot of yellowing on the toe caps there. Jumpman on the back, very faded. So these are really, really well worn. These are definitely a restoration pair right here. If somebody wanted to uh, to do a little bit of work, probably a solid pair to start off with. You can see all the paint cracking going on right there. Definitely foggy air units. A lot of wear on the sole too. Just overall, really, really well worn pair. Those will go for a steal. What do you think? Five out of ten like condition? This. Yeah, but I like this shoe. Yeah. Like this shoe. Classic. Classic. Classic, absolutely. Jordan 3s are always a solid go-to. I still don't have one. I will soon. Gotta get one. Gotta get a pair for sure. Yeah. Another one my size, dude. That's Jordan 10s. Ten and a half? Jordan 10s. 
Jordan 10, some of them are really nice and some of them I just don't like. The LA's, I kind of like this one, dude. These are a solid pair and these, these might be dead stock too, actually. LA's. Yeah, these are in really, Damn, really good condition. I kind of like this one. Maybe tried on. I don't know, these might be going to Leah. He seemed, well, look at this. seems like he liked this. These are fly as hell. Yeah, I think these are DS. DS, yeah. These are DS. Definitely DS. Damn, I like these shoes, dude. Oh, these are these are fucking clean. I know George, George is gonna like these. He likes blue. <laughs> yeah. George like sitting this? up on the other side of the half pipe right now. I can't see him. He's up that way. But we'll have some footage. All these I'll guys skating earlier too. They were shredding up the ramp. LA's? And then my meager attempt, I could, I could drop in, but that was about it. Yeah, so. let's talk about this one later, dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure, those might be uh, those might be going home with Leo. I like we'll these find medals. out. Dude, if they were my size, I would get these medals. Just, just because of metal, not because of the shoe. Next, we got a Jordan 5 in a size 12 and a half. So this is my size right here. Let's see what we got. Ooh. I kind of like these. Another pair of Fire Reds. Well, the other ones were Jordan 3s, but some Jordan 5 Fire Reds. I think that based off of the yellowing on the cages there, I'm going to take a guess in the box. It's probably the 2006 edition. So these are a little bit on the older side. And yep, these are the 06 edition right here. 06, yeah, Super clean though. For a pair of 06s, like these, these are like 13 years old right here. That's fucking crazy. These are in insanely good shape. I want to say that they're dead ass. They're, they're dead ass. They're DS. <laughs> they're, dead ass. <laughs> they're dead ass, yo. Mommy from 2006. Dead ass. Actually, these, I think they are DS. Damn, these are sick. This dude. is pretty wild. There's definitely some like scuffing on the sides the there. Deal. but 2006. Because these are so old, you'd expect that there'd be some scuffing. And there's OG all. I think that these are definitely. Uh, there's, there's a good chance these are just DS and aged with time, so say new with defects. This is a sick shoe. Yeah, that's that's crispy right there. So two DS pairs actually, which is pretty surprising. Normally with the under $500 boxes, you rarely get DS. Last pair here, 12 and a half, Jordan Spizike. Spizzies. Always one of my favorite Jordan uh, kind of combos. So these combine the Jordan 3s the Jordan 6s, the Jordan 4s, and the Jordan 5s. There's elements from each of those sneakers built into this. And these are, I also want to say that these are DS condition. There's definitely some like factory, yes, what looks like some factory flaws and probably just some flaws from being like tossed around in the box a little bit, but. You don't like them? I, I, I like them. I, I think it's, it's easier to rock than those, the last one. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit more subtle. And the red yeah, is a little bit more neutral. It's not quite as bright. Yeah, I like this mix. I'll rock them for sure. Yeah, I th I'm, I'm wondering if these are DS. I mean, based off of what I'm seeing, like there's definitely some flaws like over gluing and they you can tell that they've been in the box before because they have definitely been kind of, I mean, there's there's like rubbing and little flaws like right up in there on the elephant print. If anything, they were worn. <laughs> if, but it, like try it on, you think? Yeah, they're if, but I, if I had to guess, they, I'd they're still stock. laced up. Yeah, I think that they're dead stock with flaws yeah. too. So, so that's pretty fucking sweet. That's three pairs of dead stock sneakers, and all of them on the older side. Well, except for the LAs. LAs are pretty new. Damn, so, dude, I like right? Oh my god. Yeah. Definitely uh, nine pairs of sneakers in this box, two U sizes. I'm gonna be honest with you, I was really scared when we saw the U sizes when we first opened up the box. Because one of the other beater box members just got a $900 box that only had youth sizes in it. Uh, shout out to SB Mitch. I'm so sorry that you only got U sizes and a size nine women's and whatever the other one was. You're gonna, you're gonna sell it, I know. I already got it. I got a good feeling about it for you, man. But still, my heart goes out to you. This was a good box, pretty sweet beater box. I don't know, what do you, what do you think overall, Leo? Really if you, had, if you really had to give it a grade, it. what would you I say? Really like, like, you know, except for the Adidas, I would definitely use all of them, you know? I'm a big Jordan fan. A lot of good Jordans. But I really like Adidas too. Just that just, model is just, but it's not my favorite Adidas. It's, model it's a either, bright yeah. one, you know. Like if you if you have the side, you can pull it up. I feel like that one is more like too fashion. For me. Yeah, it's a, it's it's definitely but a, a kind of standout colorway. Dude, those pants, 
Which one is the fives, the, the five fire ed fives, those six. things are crazy. I can't believe yeah. that I got a dead stock pair of them. And I've never seen this crazy mix before. And it's pretty the Spizike? Spizikes are crazy, man. They're fun. Yeah. They're cool. I, I would say overall, it's a pretty solid box. Like quantity wise, plenty of pairs, which is really good. Three out of nine, so one third of them were dead stock, which is pretty solid too. So that's always a big plus. I'm going to say quality of the sneakers in this box as far as in relationship to the price was concerned, probably like a B plus. Very, very solid. Um, quantity of shoes, probably I, I'd give that an A minus. I've seen 10 and 11 pairs in this kind of a uh, cost box before. They're all lower quality, so it makes sense. But uh, nine pairs overall, still, still really, really solid. As far as hype is concerned, definitely not a hype box. There's a lot of cool sneakers in there and there's a lot of classic retros in there. However, they're just, they didn't have the same kind of hype as like a Yeezy or something like an Off-White, but for a $464 box, you can't expect to get that type of shit. Pretty pleased with this box overall. Very, very pumped on the quantity and quality of what I got for the price. So everything will be up on eBay and the Kixify, so check out below. I also post up to my social media, so you can check out my Twitter handle, my Instagram handle, you can even check out my Facebook if you want, I know it's pretty much fucking defunct, so, you know, whatever. Shout out to all the guys that I was skating with today, uh, check out their Instagrams too, and they are all linked in, they'll be up on my story and all over my Instagram page because it was a fucking baller day hanging out with them at thank the you, dude. team ramp, so... Leo, thank you for having thank me, bro. Thank you, man. I really appreciate you taking me here. Um, shout out to thank all the guys in the background you. that you can't see right now. Uh, it was fucking awesome skating with them, too. And make sure that you check out all the footage that they put out because they're fucking amazing skaters and are doing huge, huge things, keeping skateboarding alive and just progressing nonstop. So you'll be hearing their names a lot in the future. Thank so, you guys much for checking in. Leo. you guys. <laughs> one one, go get it because I already got mine, dude. <laughs> there we go. go be quick. Look, look be at this. Quick. Yeah, the, things are going really fast because, like, this pair of sneakers already sold. So, <laughs> yeah, guys, peace out. Thanks for watching. Thank you guys so much for checking in. Dude. Sailboat and Leo, we be checking out. Yeah, I really like this shoe, dude. I like this one too. Dude, I think the best of the box are the, the, the one with the edition print. No, no, that's one. No, that's one. <laughs> that one is super nice. Damn, dude, these are sick. I really like these ones. Sorry, bud. <laughs> Sold!